Hi, I'm Miley Oye. This is the third video in our series to help local business owners reach customers online. Thus far, we've determined your business's unique value add, define conversion for your business, and set your goal to increase revenue. This video's focus is finding potential customers. How would potential customers find and select your business online? Talk with new customers to learn how they heard about your business and the criteria they use to make a selection. Go ahead and jot down a few of the ideas. These pathways to finding and selecting a business we'll call customer journeys. Each of the journeys identified should include a potential customer having a need, like help buying a house, and should end with the customer converting. Let's examine a couple of sample customer journeys. Scott's research shows him that his most common customer journey starts by word of mouth. A potential client wants help buying a house. The client talks to a home-owning friend who recommends Scott. The potential client performs her own research on the recommendation, perhaps by searching on Google, then reviewing relevant channels online, such as a Google Plus page, LinkedIn page, and Yelp. Scott's conversion happens only if the potential customer verifies that Scott is a good choice and decides to call or email him. Marnie, my sister who owns a jewelry store in Hawaii, may identify her most common customer journey, beginning with a tourist who wants a souvenir to bring home from her vacation. On a mobile phone, the customer opens a Maps app and searches for jewelry store. Several stores are returned in the local result, and she reviews a few that are closest to her location. If the store looks desirable and is open, she gets driving directions. The conversion happens when she walks through Marnie's storefront. You will probably create different journeys to answer the question, how would a potential customer find and select my business online? It's likely, though, that there's some overlap between the channels I've described and those of your potential customer. I'll discuss some of the most popular. Let's begin by looking at journeys that involve potential customers referencing reviews. If your journeys included a potential customer checking for other satisfied customers or not satisfied customers, sites that offer reviews like Yelp, Urban Spoon, or TripAdvisor may be important online channels to reach your audience. On sites like Yelp, business owners can create a business page provide their hours, website, and contact information, as well as upload photos. Once a business page is in place, customers can enter reviews. Yelp business pages may also surface in the Maps app on Apple devices. Or, perhaps in your journey, customers used a search engine to look for local businesses. If they performed a Google search, it's likely they'll see local web search results. Local results often appear in a different format from regular web results, and may include a map with pins showing the business locations. To appear in Google local search results, businesses create a Google Plus page. Creating a Google Plus page is like filling out an online form. Google Plus pages also allow you to write posts for your potential customers, share photos and videos. Creating a Google Plus page may require a few weeks to complete because to verify your business location, Google first sends a postcard with a PIN number to the address you provided. You must then submit the PIN to validate your location. When creating your Google Plus page, include in the business description your value add, but make sure to include the words your potential customers would use when they search online. For example, for Scott, including keywords like realtor and real estate agent in Campbell, California, is more likely to connect him with potential searchers than home seller extraordinaire in the best little city on the West Coast, which, although descriptive, probably isn't used as a search term by potential clients. If your business is anything like my sister's jewelry store, customers, especially those from the United States, would commonly use a Maps app on their smartphone to find local businesses. Google local search results, Google Maps, and the Maps app on Apple devices are common online channels where you'll want your business to have a strong presence. To increase your odds of appearing in Google local search results or the Google Maps app, a Google Plus page is useful. To reach potential customers using the Maps app on Apple devices, a Yelp business page is helpful. 
If your customer journeys include users who check for credentials or connections before selecting your business, then consider building a presence on networking sites. Professional networking sites like LinkedIn highlight education, qualifications, connections, and recommendations. If you provide a service where verified qualifications are important, your potential customers may already be using online channels such as LinkedIn. Creating a LinkedIn profile doesn't require much technical expertise. Once your profile is published, you can begin accepting recommendations and skill endorsements from happy clients or customers. Speaking of checking for connections, if you find that your potential customers are likely to ask friends and family on a social network for advice, then it's useful to begin investigating social networking channels. For example, you may wish to create a Facebook page. With a Facebook page for your business, you're eligible for Facebook graph search by Facebook users. You can include your contact information, write posts, upload photos, include videos, accumulate likes, and have your updates visible in your potential customer's newsfeed. To sum up, in the past, creating an online presence literally meant build a website. As you can see, with so many online channels available today, that's no longer the case. There are many online channels that require less technical skill, lower upfront investment in time and money, and display nicely for customers on their desktop computer or their mobile phone. Consider creating a website if you need total control of page layout, content, and expanded functionality such as selling items. My sister's jewelry store's online presence includes a website because she needs shopping cart functionality to sell items. But even with a website, Marnie still benefits by having a Google Plus page. There are certainly positives to having a website, but be aware of some of the downsides as well such as the time and resources required to design and implement the site for desktop and mobile and keep the site secure and free from hackers. Now that we've covered where you might find potential customers, in the next video, we'll begin implementation.